Hey folks, out here on the Dole Plantation today in Oahu, Hawaii. We're going to take a little uh, tour uh, by train and walk through some garden. So I uh, hope you really enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. For your safety, please keep your head, hands, feet, selfie sticks, and GoPros within the train at all times. In case you drop an item outside the train, please do not jump off the train to retrieve your item. Just take notice of the numbered markers along the train tracks closest to your dropped item and let your conductor know at the exit platform and we will send someone out to retrieve the item for you. You will be exiting at a different platform. Please wait for the train to come to a complete stop at the exit platform. Then and only then can you unlatch your chains on the left and exit to the back of the train. For those of you who left your stroller, walker, or wheelchair behind with us, we will be transferring those items over to the exit platform for you. Other than that, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Mahalo! Express train tour. This two mile, 22 minute train ride will take you through a working plantation of pineapple and other crops, often featuring fields in all stages of growth from planting to harvest. To our right are the grounds of the plantation garden tour, where guests can take a leisurely stroll through eight different mini gardens and get an up close view of a variety of plants, flowers, and native species while listening to stories about life on the plantation and Hawaiian heritage. Just a few announcements as we head out into the plantation. For your safety and those around you, please stay seated. Keep your head, arms, legs, and any devices, including selfie sticks, inside the train at all times. Please refrain from eating or drinking, and if you should accidentally drop something outside the train, there are numbered markers along the train path. Just tell us the marker number where you dropped your item, and we'll be able to retrieve it for you upon our return. And now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Let's begin our journey with a little history on this special place of Oahu called Wahiwa. Before the Hawaiian Islands were united by King Kamehameha I, Wahiwa was where Oahu chiefs and their armies lived, trained, and fought for control of the island. Wahiwa was also the birthplace of royal family members. Roughly translated, the name Wahiwa means place of rumbling. It was believed the rumbling sound of thunderstorms common in this area were the voices of the ancestral gods welcoming an offspring of divine rank. Today, Wahiwa is home to people of all backgrounds. If you can spare some time, visit one of the many shops and restaurants in Wahiwa Town and experience the hometown pride and aloha spirit displayed by its residents. Off to our left are pineapple fields in various stages, ranging from land preparation to harvest. Here, pineapple is grown year-round. 
However, depending on the time of the year, the fields you see may be fallow or undergoing planting or harvesting. To prepare the field for planting, the ground is plowed and mixed with fertilizer, resulting in a fine, nutrient-rich soil. Next, strips of thin plastic mulch are laid in the field. The plastic mulch helps to confine the fumigant, retain moisture, control weeds and pests, and heat the soil to stimulate root growth. After the field is prepared, the planting process begins. The green leafy top of the pineapple, called the crown, is the preferred planting material used in Hawaii. Each crown is planted by hand. The planters use a sharp planting knife to cut a hole for the plastic mulch. They then place the bottom of the crown directly into the hole. A skilled planter can plant roughly 10,000 pineapples a day, or nearly half an acre. To irrigate the fields, a tube is placed between the rows of pineapple. When water is needed, it is dripped from the tubes directly onto the root. Harvesting, like planting, is also done by hand. The first crop, called the plant crop, takes 18 months from planting to harvest. The second crop, called the ratoon crop, takes another 12 months, resulting in a two and a half year cycle. After the last crop is harvested, the field is knocked down and the pineapple plants plowed under. The land then lays fallow for almost a year before the new cycle begins. To harvest the pineapple, a crew of workers will walk through the rolls of pineapple, twisting off the fruit and placing it on a boom conveyor, which gently moves the fruit to a bin on an awaiting truck. Even in the hot summer months, the workers must wear heavy clothing, gloves, and mesh goggles to protect themselves from the sharp, rigid leaves of the pineapple plant. Once the truck is full, the pineapple is transported to the Dole Packing Plant, located right across the street from the Dole Plantation parking lot. Before entering the packing plant, the pineapples are placed in a water dump system designed to clean and separate the pineapple, so only the best quality fruit makes its way into the packing plant. Lots of pineapples there. Once inside, workers hand select the fruit based on size and shell color and carefully pack them into boxes. Roughly half of the dough pineapple grown in Hawaii is sent to various stores and restaurants throughout the Hawaiian Islands. The other half is shipped primarily to the west coast of the United States, with some pineapple even making its way to Japan. So, how can you tell if a fresh pineapple sold in a store in your hometown is a Dole pineapple grown in Hawaii? Just look for the tag. If it says Dole Royal Hawaiian Pineapple on the tag, you've got yourself a genuine Dole pineapple grown right here in the islands. Here's a bit of history on the pineapple. The Hawaiian word for pineapple is halakahiki, which means foreign fruit. It is believed that pineapple first originated in Paraguay or Brazil. Carried aboard 15th and 16th century trade ships, pineapple was soon found growing as far away as Mexico, Australia, China, and India. Christopher Columbus brought pineapples back from his travels in the New World, and it quickly became a gourmet fruit throughout Europe. No one knows exactly how or when pineapples first arrived here in Hawaii. But historians believe that a Spanish shipwreck in 1527 off the South Kona coast of the Big Island brought tools, garments, and plants, including pineapples from Mexico to Hawaii. Captain John Kidwell is credited with founding Hawaii's pineapple industry. In the 1880s, he imported and tested a number of different pineapple varieties and selected the smooth cayenne variety for its cylindrical form and uniform texture. Most of the pineapple in Hawaii is grown at elevations below 3,000 feet. Good fruit quality is attributed to areas having a combination of relatively cool night temperatures, a high percentage of sunny days, and day temperatures ranging from 70 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes Wahiwa perfect for growing pineapple. Now some of you may be wondering why the soil is reddish in color. Well, it's because the volcanic ash in the soil results in high amounts of oxidized iron, which in turn causes the reddish tint. The high iron content in the soil is good for growing pineapple. 
So how do you know when a pineapple is ready to be picked? Generally, you want to select the pineapple that is plump and fresh looking. In other words, the leaves in the crown should be fresh and green and the body of the pineapple so firm. The pineapple Keep in mind, a large pineapple doesn't necessarily mean the fruit will be better tasting or any riper than a smaller pineapple. Those are little ones. Also, the color of the shell is not necessarily a sign of maturity or ripeness. A pineapple can be ripe when the shell is practically all green. Once the pineapple is picked, it will not ripen any further or get any sweeter. So the sooner they are eaten, the better. If you don't plan to use a fresh pineapple right away, store it in your refrigerator, it'll keep longer. Oh, and it's a really tiny one. And if you're interested in learning the proper way to cut and core a pineapple, check out our free pineapple cutting demonstration in the Dole Plantation store. The demonstration will also show you how to grow your own pineapple at home, and you'll even get to sample some fresh cut pineapple. Here's some trivia for you. Did you know that pineapple is an excellent way to cap off a heavy meal? That's because fresh pineapples contain the enzyme bromelain, which is a natural digestive agent that breaks down protein. And for you aspiring chefs, here's a cooking tip. Use fresh pineapple in a meat marinade to add flavor and to help tenderize the meat. Besides being a tasty fruit, the pineapple is also regarded as a symbol of hospitality. Long ago, when the European colonists first traveled to North America, they brought pineapples with them, which they would place out on their porch, door, or entrance to their home. This was a symbol to their neighbors, that their voyage is over, our door is open, food and drink for everyone. This tradition continued throughout the years, and to this day, the pineapple is seen as a symbol of hospitality, proudly displayed in residences and business establishments throughout the world. Chocolate lovers, this crop on our left is for you. This is a field of cacao trees. The fruit of the cacao tree is a football-shaped pod that comes in various colors. The pod ranges in size from 8 to 14 inches long and grows directly from the tree's main branches and trunk. Chocolate is made from the beans that are inside the pods. If the pods aren't visible, look for the trees with long green leaves. Those are the cacao trees. A variety of other trees border the cacao field which help to shield the cacao trees from excessive wind and sun. Cacao trees flourish in humid tropical regions in a narrow band 10 degrees above and below the equator. The Hawaiian Islands at 21 degrees north are one of the few exceptions with unique microclimates that promote the exceptionally deep, complex flavors in the chocolate. Hawaii's chocolate industry is relatively new, but is quickly establishing itself as a source for some of the best and rarest chocolates in the world. A few miles north of Dole Plantation is the Waialua Estate Cacao Farm, run by Dole Food Company. The rich volcanic soil and excellent growing conditions in this area, combined with high-quality chocolate-making practices, have allowed Waialua Estate to become the undisputed leader and producer of the best chocolate in Hawaii. If you haven't done so already, we encourage you to visit the Waialua Estate chocolate display area inside the Dole Plantation store. In addition to showcasing a delicious assortment of world-class chocolates, we also conduct a free demonstration on how chocolate is produced from bean to bar. If you haven't noticed, there's a large reservoir out here. It's called the Tanada Reservoir and was constructed in the early 1900s. The reservoir holds roughly 155 million gallons of water and is used to irrigate the pineapple fields and other agricultural crops in this area. Hey everyone, just wanted to drop a quick note in here. They played some music that was copyrighted, so I had to cut the audio out. Hope you're enjoying this tour. We'll get back to it here in just a few moments. Well, our story of the pineapple just wouldn't be complete without mentioning the most influential person in Hawaii's pineapple industry, James Drummond Dole. 
James Dole arrived in Hawaii in 1899, and the following year, he bought a 61-acre tract of land right here in Wahiwa, where he established his first pineapple plantation. Early on, James Dole knew there would be a huge market for pineapple outside of Hawaii. However, the only way to reach this market was to pack and seal the pineapple in cans. As a result, in 1901, James Dole built the Pineapple Cannery here in Wahiwa, which marked the start of the Hawaiian Pineapple Company. Several years later, in 1907, the cannery was relocated to Honolulu Harbor, closer to the labor pool, shipping ports, and supplies. The Honolulu Cannery, at one time the world's largest cannery, remained in operation until 1991. As the demand for pineapple grew, so did the need for more land. So, in 1922, James Dole bought the island of Lanai and converted it from a cactus-covered island with 150 people into the largest pineapple plantation in the world. For nearly 70 years, Lanai operated as a pineapple plantation and in its heyday supplied nearly 75% of the world's pineapple. By the 1930s, Hawaii was known as the pineapple capital of the world and James Dole, the pineapple king. The Hawaiian Pineapple Company he founded was now processing over 200,000 tons of pineapple a year, helping to make pineapple Hawaii's second largest industry responsible for 90% of all the canned pineapple produced in the world. James Drummond Dole passed away in 1958 at the age of 80. The Hawaiian Pineapple Company he founded is now known the world over as Dole Food Company and the Dole brand is one of the most recognized brands in the world. Another agricultural product that played a major role in this area was sugar. Back in the 1950s, there were over 20,000 acres of agricultural land in this area. Roughly half were pineapple fields and the other half sugarcane fields. Many of the early pineapple and sugar plantation laborers were from foreign countries, such as China, Japan, and the Philippines. Plantation villages or camps were set up to house the workers and their families. These villages reflected the different cultures the laborers brought with them. In fact, many cultural aspects of these plantation villages have endured and influenced life in Hawaii today. Over the years, Hawaii's agricultural land has shifted from being dominated by sugar and pineapple to a multitude of crops including bananas, macadamia nuts, papayas, and flowers. Hawaii also produces some of the best coffee, which has been growing in the island since the 1800s. Coffee plants generally take seven years to reach full production. Hawaiian coffees are world-famous Arabica varietals such as Tipico, Katuai, Katura, and Mocha. The Tipico variety was first introduced to Kona farmers from Guatemala and is now grown on Oahu's north shore as Waialua Estate Coffee, which is owned and operated by Dole Food Company. In the spring, following heavy rains, coffee plants produce small, fragrant white flowers which last only a few days. The fruits grow for six months and slowly change from green to yellow to a glossy deep red, at which point the cherries, as they are called, are ready for picking. Harvested cherries must first be wet milled to remove the skin and dried as green bean coffee. Next, the green beans are dry milled to remove hulls or parchment. They are then classified and bagged for roasting.
Kingfisher. He's one so, fish. Anyone have one quarter? I got one. Here you go. Fight for it, guys. Fight for it. A lot of fish. It's up there, Ducky. See him before. I knew you said that. Oh, holy shit, he blew through my neck. I don't think so. Okay. Then we can get some change back at that after we get our full web to come back. So, we can all get some quarters. Then we can get some change back after the dual web. I wouldn't mind seeing him catch a fish. Probably. More banana trees. Holy cow, I missed that big disc back there. Big what? I missed the big disc back there. I guess I don't know what you mean. There's a big disc back here behind the trees. Look at that big old thing. Oh, that? Oh, water. Well, I don't know what you mean by this. He's saying big disc, and I didn't know what he meant. A big cultivator. See some? Oh, there's a little bit of bananas up high there. The baby bananas. Baby bananas. I would like to see some big ones, but it must not be the time right now because yeah, all the ones I've seen are small and green. Right or left, man? I guess we'll keep going to the right. I'm assuming it all kind of looks around. I hope so. We'll find out. Banana trees. Oh, those of them are yellow, but they're not very big. Nope. Tiny bananas. That's a big 
bonds right there. That's probably the biggest one I've seen. Yeah. Rahim, you're tall enough that you could be a banana picker. What those big old, big old tall trees are? Were those coconut trees? I don't remember. I think so. It'll probably say when we get up here. More poop in there, man. Too bad there aren't any monkeys here to eat them. expecting them to be darker. The pictures I've seen, they're more reddish. Oh, you know what them things on? That little tree there. Or oh, I saw one of those earlier. I asked Brittany. She didn't know either. Is that a sign? I see one. Have to, be somewhere else. have to Google some pictures or something. There are some signs up here. Mm, could be. Yeah, that's fine. I think we've been in the sun long enough. It's a uh, Washington fan call. I what Bromelad is, I don't even know. They mentioned it once, didn't they? Maybe they did, but I missed it. I can't remember what it was, but I'm pretty sure they did. Can't hardly see it because of because of the glare. Hmm. I guess I'm assuming it's edible. I guess I didn't realize there's so many different kinds of palm trees. There's mm -hmm. a different one there. Foxtail palm. Kind of does look like foxtail. A little bit. They must read this off in the train because it sounds like we're coming. Yeah. I agree. Mm, I don't think there's any entrance this direction. Big, big do not enter sign there. I don't think so. I'm gonna walk up here and see what these are. What's that? Oh, 
I mean, there's a cone there, but hey, I don't know. Oh, it's just got signs about the harvesters. That's all they are. It's a good question. feel like I'm in uh, Barber County, Kansas here. Red dirt. Smile. Mangoes aren't green though, are they? But maybe they I are think they are they're, until they're ripe. Until they're ripe. But I've seen them there's some that are still greenish. Like maybe it got picked a little early. Languages, those language that's in. I wondered if it was flying. I wondered the same. Because I've seen it around a lot. First, I thought maybe it was just like. I'll have to ask my Japanese aunt. Or I'll have to ask my aunt if it's Japanese. Alele, is that how you'd say that? Is there a bird's nest up there? I think there's a bird's nest up there. I'm sure, got a lot of this bromelade stuff. I'm not super impressed by it, but... No, it's more of a landscaping thing. It doesn't look the best right now. It looks kind of here. The bigger ones are kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, here's a big one. Here's a big tree. It might have a sign on it. There's a sign there. I don't know. No, nah, that just must be a stand. stability. I think it's on the other side. Stability, but there is one. There is one that's starting to turn yellow. So I bet you're right. I bet those are papayas or mangoes. Probably papayas. Kind of a pretty garden. I mean, not a not a little different than what we're used to, but.
stupid question, what's blue ginger? Oh, so we figured out what those are. That's the, how do you, how do you pronounce that? They're asking where we are. 